to design for modern learners is not such a straightforward thing. And the reason for that is a couple things. One is modern learners have broad expectations. They all want something different. They want a class, they want a course, they want digital, they want something personalized. And their contexts are so varied around the world. So how do we design for these people? It, it doesn't come off real easy. But what Crystal and I did is we spotted a couple patterns. As Crystal and I did our research, we discovered uh, Degree had done work on uh, how, how do the learners learn today in the workplace. And employees today, get this, use formal training only once every three months. All right, now, when I was uh, working a, as a chemical engineer, uh, designing and starting up a plant for Crest Toothpaste and Crisco Oil, if people had only used my product once every three months, I don't think I would have been in business. But that's what L&D is doing. And we know that learning is happening every week, every day. And why isn't learn, uh, learning L&D there to help our people? And Chrissy, you said it. You said be there at their fingertips when they're ready to learn. That is so key. So, but how do we do that? What we have found, Crystal and I, is that if we create learning clusters instead of classes, courses, blended learning, a learning cluster can include that, but it goes beyond that into the workplace. I'm going to give you a definition and I'm going to give you an example. I think you'll be able to see from the example what's going on. A learning cluster is a set of strategically selected learning assets. A learning asset can be as small as a two-minute video or as big as a three-day, three-month class. It's anything that helps people learn. You pick the size. You pick what it, you want it to be. It could be a wallet card. Uh, so it's a set, set of strategically selected learning assets for learning in and out of the flow of work to deliver on the job performance. I mean, what was it that, that uh, Mahesh was saying earlier? People don't wanna learn, uh, they want to perform. Um, and it goes across social, formal, and immediate learning touch points that consider key learner personas, five moments of learning need. 